Oh, <laughs> hey, yeah, don't mind me. I was just uh, drooling over these uh, Vanatu Zero Pluses that we just got in. Let's talk about them. All right, so I'm just going to start this off right now. Do not skip this video. You want to see this. We always are always looking for these bang for buck, diamond in the rough, great value for good hi-fi. And I'm telling you guys, uh, we've got a set of speakers, actually a whole entire system. You do not even need a DAC. You don't need an amplifier. You don't have to worry about cables, nothing. This little system right here is a set it and forget it hi-fi audio unicorn that is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, we are going to talk about this today, the Vanatu Zero Plus. All right, so you're going to want to stick around for this review, like I said, because we are going to be raffling these speakers off to one of our community members. One of you are going to win these speakers. We're going to send them to you. $20 a raffle ticket. We're going to be having the raffle in a couple weeks. Uh, check out the links in the, in the description to find out how you can win these speakers. And all right, so of course we're talking about the new Vanatu Zero Plus all-in-one set it forget it speaker system consists of check this guy out it'll focus in i am sure beautiful beautiful small drivers uh metal drivers nice dome tweeter there awesome we flip it around on the top of the back we've got a beautiful beautiful passive radiator here uh it's got the volume knob here so this volume knob you can kind of set the limiter it kind of sets how uh, what the limit is to the volume. So if you only want to be able to kind of turn it up 50% or if you want to be able to just max it out, uh, you can do that. So beautiful little driver, nice dome tweeter, passive radiator, volume knob, simple. All right, so on the back of this thing, super, super simple. This thing is an absolute set it and forget it. You got three choices for your inputs. You got a USB input right here, simple from your PC, laptop, whatever, streamer, wherever it's coming from. You've got a 3.5 millimeter and you have an optical input. So there's your three choices there. Sub out, right? RCA to a sub, set it and forget it. This thing DSPs automatically once you plug your subwoofer in. There's some instructions there on how to, how to integrate that, uh, done. DSP in-house, don't worry about any of it. Absolutely phenomenal, automated, leave it alone. You've got the DC uh, power block plug right here. Plug this thing in. Uh, then right next to it, you've got their proprietary connecting cable. You basically plug the, uh, it looks like a phone cable or an ethernet cable. You plug it in right here. You run it to the other speaker. You plug it in. You are done. You are up and rocking and rolling. Absolutely phenomenal system. All right, one other thing. I just wanted to touch base. I missed it just a second ago. Uh, right here, you've got a switch where you can switch this left and right. You can adjust the treble. You can adjust the bass so it's fully EQable. Uh, you can set it, leave it alone. You've got a little button here. So if you need to connect via Bluetooth, you can just plug this little guy. goes active for your Bluetooth connection. I will tell you, the minute I set this up in my system... Uh, I did not have to press this button. It was already activating. My phone was already recognizing it, wanting to hook up with it. It was just simple. Press the button, connect, bam. We were rocking and rolling and uh, streaming Cobuzz in no time. All right, so let's talk about the remote. Most time you get these cheesy little remotes. They got all these buttons that don't even work. Nobody knows what's going on with them. They all look the same. You got a million piles of them in a drawer. Here's the Vanna 2 remote. Let's let it focus in. There we go. Look at that thing absolutely made for this fully functional it's got all of the options on it that you could possibly think of uh, you can select all of your inputs here usb bluetooth analog auto sensing so you don't even have to mess with it you can just set it to auto you plug something in bam it just picks it up rocks and rolls it checks it it knows whichever one is current um, you've got volume knob you've got a mute button here uh, you've got Bluetooth pair button. You got function one. You can adjust your treble, mids, bass, all of this stuff off there. Man, just an absolutely phenomenal little uh, little uh, remote control. Fully, fully functional. This thing, the nice thing about this system is I will say, you know, working with the remote and kind of spending some time with this. One of the great things about this system, besides the sound, and, and we're going to get to that. It's insane. 
is that you can go as deep into this thing as you want, fully customizable, adjustable, DSP, you know, EQ settings, all of this stuff that you can do. Or you can just set this up at your desktop or in your small listening room and just hook up with Bluetooth and rock and roll. One of really, really great features in that thing. All right, so that's a rundown just on the basic structure of the Vanatu uh, Zero Plus. Let's talk about how this thing sounds. When I first got it in, I, I took it out of the boxing. Beautiful packaging, by the way. Absolutely perfect. Just everything's set up well. Uh, I just set it up plug and play, set it on top of my Clips Fortes in my main system, plugged it into the wall, connect the cable, turned it on, connected my Bluetooth, Cobuzz, went to work on my playlist. Um, and the first thing that I noticed right off the rip was, dude, this soundstage is nice awesome soundstage pushes well outside each side of the speaker even with no setup i did no setup i didn't tweak it or anything just plopped it down on top of the speakers that i had uh, and went to work uh, well outside each set each side of the speaker very good depth pushes into the room great detail and focus i mean i've heard you know better detail and focus by a five thousand dollar set of speakers but for a $499 set of speakers, they punch way, way uh, outside of their class. It is absolutely phenomenal to hear these things. Beautiful soundstage, beautiful imaging, not the sharpest uh, detail and focus that I've ever heard, but really superb considering the price, absolutely. Um, the imaging is one thing. Uh, we reviewed the the Zero Pluses and the Encores, which we're gonna be doing a, um, a review of those this week, so make sure you watch out for that. We're the only ones that have them right now. Um, the imaging was something that was really spectacular, like just the placement of everything and kind of that layering and separation in between the, the instruments and the singers and kind of how things sound and where they're placed. The imaging was really, really good on some of the tracks that we did. Um, so overall soundstage, spot on, man. It's one of those things as an audiophile, I plugged them in and I, and I started going through my songs and I was just like, what <laughs> this is pretty crazy man so uh anyway soundstage on point okay overall sound with the vanna 2 zero is probably as you can kind of expect from a small form factor bookshelf um not much like low end extension as far as that bass goes but what it does give you in that upper bass kind of low mids uh really clean clear controlled uh focused bass um i didn't feel any you know, sloppiness, looseness, flabbiness. Um, it was all overall uh, very well controlled and sounded really, really nice. And I think one of the main things on these guys, um, you know, if you're using them in a in a in in a office setup or or a small room, you know, maybe main setup. Uh, implementation of a subwoofer is probably going to be key here uh, with, the, like I said, with the onboard DSP and all of the controls that it has. You know, find yourself a nice little sub plug and play, uh, you know, something like the REL 1003 is probably, you know, going to be a, a comparable kind of price wise, you know, 300 and some bucks, uh, get a nice sub that'll pair, pair well here. But uh, if, if you're really going to want to get that punch and that kick and that bass out of these things, you are going to need a subwoofer. Um, if you're just using them for a small desktop setup where you're kind of near field and close, um, I felt the bass was pretty good by themselves. Uh, but um, yeah, so, so either way you go there. But small main system, get a sub, desktop, you can probably go either way. Okay, so once we move kind of up into the mids and the vocals, uh, you know, male vocals have, have a nice realness to them. Uh, you know, I didn't find anything that was, you know, sounded artificial or like forced. Everything was pretty well rounded. Once we start getting up into the mids and the trebles, I would say that these are definitely not like a forward uh, of neutral speaker. They're not a really bright speaker. Um, I wouldn't say they're kind of dark or relaxed, you know, they're probably just maybe a little bit warm of, of neutral. They, they've got a very comfortable presentation, um, not a lot of fatigue. Uh, you get up into kind of those higher end female vocals and that sibilance and stuff is kind of tapered off a little bit. Uh, you know, listening to some of those songs that, that kind of emphasize that, that sibilance. Um, I feel like it's kind of, um, 
you know, backed off a little bit, if you will. But not so much that you feel, oh, this is kind of soupy, analog-y. Uh, I still feel like we have really good focus and clarity. Uh, vocal seemed real, forward in the presentation, good, good center imaging. Uh, I had no complaints. And all of this in context of the price, $499. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, yeah, we've heard better in, in other places. But like I said, you know, get get yourself five, six, seven thousand dollars set of speakers, and you know you're going to hear some marginal improvements kind of on everything as we go up through this. But keeping in the context of the price, four hundred ninety nine dollars for a standalone system that you don't need a DAC, that you don't need an amplifier for, no cables, nothing uh, to provide you with that level of clarity, focus, and detail. Pretty impressive. Uh, again, kind of in that lower bass, mids, kind of vocal region. You know, listen to like acoustic bass, strings, guitar. Uh, plenty of realness, smaller details, the nuances on the edges of things. Um, I felt that they were focused enough, detailed enough. Uh, I didn't feel like I was lacking anything. Lots of nice air and space on the vocals. Um, overall, just a, a a comfortable presentation that I felt like I could listen to for a long time. Uh, okay, a couple tracks that we kind of auditioned with. Uh, Manu Cachet, the live drum solo that we listen to all the time, is kind of one of the ones that I use for to kind of audition some of the tracks. Um, the drums are just nuts. They are snappy, quick. I mean, that 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 song will really push a system uh, all across the range. You know, you start getting into some of that snare and those cymbals. And uh, I felt like the Vanatus held that song really, really well. Uh, I felt like the, um, you know, imaging of the drum location and how things bounced around the sound stage was really accurate. Uh, I think it held its own, even when it gets really busy, when we've got kick drum and snare and, and, and cymbals all going off at the same time. I didn't feel like during kind of those complex passages that, that the, uh, the Vanatu was, was slipping or falling apart or like losing one or the other. You know, kind of the, all of the ranges and the regions kind of stayed focused and, and felt like they were being handled well. We listened to uh, Anibus Dead Can. Uh, one of the things that I kind of look for there is kind of like this organic naturalness, and I felt like that was mostly there. Uh, it was it was really good. Uh, and li like I said, a nice airiness there. Uh, placement worked really well. You know, most of the tracks that we kind of auditioned with these speakers, uh, they really, really kind of held their own and, and, and kind of presented the speaker uh, or the song, how I know it, how I've experienced it on other systems. So that was pretty cool to see uh, that that this little speaker was able to kind of recreate uh, the sound stage and the and the 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 overall uh, performance of some higher end systems that I've heard. Uh, of course, everything kind of you know tapered down a little bit i mean we are talking about a 499 dollars standalone set of speakers as far as like the treble region we start getting up into you know cooling the gang uh summertime madness uh one track that i really like to kind of test those trebles they've got this series of keys that kind of increase in 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 loudness and 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 pitch and to where it's just screaming treble and it just kind of rolls off and tapers out uh, I felt like these uh, these dome tweeters on here especially handled that well. Uh, very smooth transitions between the notes as they kind of climb the register. Uh, when you get to the top and it kind of just starts to fade off and blend away, I felt that it was very acceptable kind of in its uh, its decay and, and just kind of that that echoey resonance that's taking place as it all kind of fades out. I felt, felt like it did that really smooth. Sometimes you can kind of get a digital uh, kind of squareness kind of floating around there as you get way up into that high end treble and then it starts to roll off. You can hear it kind of just get a little bit funky, but these these held their own very well. Sounded, sounded really good. All right, so what are my overall thoughts on the Vanatu Zero Plus uh, system? First of all, for $499, you are not going to find anything that gives you this sound. This level of audiophile quality sound pushing well up through the mid-fi uh, you know, sound space and, and market um, absolutely blew me away. I sent them over to Kelly, who does all our written reviews. Make sure you guys check out our website to pick up his written review on this guy. I will post it in the link as well. Uh, and that was the first thing that he said in our Discord. He messaged me and he was like, holy shit. Like, what is, what is this? What, what, what little magic, uh, you know, wizard do they have inside those speakers that are, that are making them do this thing? And, and so at the end of the day, if you are in the market 
for a desktop or a small room setup, uh, setup that will integrate with a subwoofer flawlessly and perfectly that accepts a multitude of digital inputs. You don't have to worry about a DAC. You don't have to worry about an amplifier. You don't have to worry about interconnects and cables. None of that stuff. It all goes away. Um, for $499, it's a no-brainer. If you bought anything else, you would be doing yourself a disservice. So make sure you check out the Vanatu uh, Zero Plus. 499 bucks on their website. Link will be in the chat. And um, man, just do it. Okay, now let's talk about what I did not like about the Vanatu Zero Plus. So one of the things that I that I will mention, and not that it's a really big deal, but as a reviewer, I try to find some things like, well, okay, well, where are we kind of lacking here? You know, uh, keeping in context the four hundred ninety dollar ninety nine dollar price point, um, and I really can't find anything. But I will say there were some things that I noticed. Uh, the system can be turned up max volume, and not lose anything. It just maintains itself the whole way, and that is a positive. Um, but when you're listening to some tracks that are recorded kind of softly, uh, like the, um, <coughs> excuse me, the new, um, Roger Waters album, some of those tracks are recorded pretty quietly to kind of utilize that dynamic range. Um, I felt even with the system fully maxed up, I was still wanting a little bit more. So I see that they kind of, you know, max that thing out to where you could just blast this thing full volume and you're not going to get any kind of messiness or breakup. Uh, so on some of those lower recorded tracks, uh, a little bit of an issue there, but not a big deal. Uh, the other thing I noticed was, as was mentioned in some other reviews, uh, this beautiful matte black finish. Uh, if you start to touch this thing, it is just an absolute uh, fingerprint magnet. Uh, not that that really matters because, you know, you're going to clean them up and set them in your area. And it's not like you're going to be up here like licking them and touching them and hanging out with them anyway. So, I mean, I'm just trying to find some stuff that I would think. Uh, but yeah, the volume, uh, the finish maybe. I mean, I like the finish. It looks great, but it is a, a fingerprint magnet. So if you're going to be moving around, reaching out here, doing stuff, uh, you're going to have to clean them up each time. Um, but other than that, that's really all I got. All right, so that's our basic rundown on the Vanatu Zero Plus. Uh, I appreciate y'all being here. Uh, if you did not know, we are the world's only nonprofit charity reviewer. 100% of our proceeds go directly to help youth musical programs across the country. Uh, make sure you check out the description or the, the, the uh, links in the description. Uh, we're going to be uh, raffling off these speakers to one of our community members, and you are not going to want to miss these guys. So anyway, appreciate y'all. Keep an eye out for the Encore Plus uh, review that's coming later this week. If you really, really want an insane system that steps you up into audiophile hi-fi, you ain't going to want to miss that one. Later, guys.